The Pale Garden biome coming in the winter drop is good, but it could be great. So my first issue with the Pale Garden biome is it is just a dark oak forest with the saturation turned down. When we expect a new biome, we want something that we haven't ever seen before. But the Pale Garden is just a dark oak forest and everything is grey. The grass is grey, the logs are grey, the leaves are grey, they've even just taken the regular moss and made it grey. Don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining about the new wood type. I love the white wood. I just think the tree it comes from should have had a bit more thought put into it. Like the cherry trees, for example. That's a new wood, but it, it's it's not an existing tree model. The cherry trees wouldn't be half as good if they were just, say, an oak tree, but with cherry logs and cherry leaves. What makes them special is they look different to other trees, and not just by their colouring. But the, the pale oak trees, they are just dark oak trees. Mojang have even said it themselves that it is a variation of the dark oak biome. Which, in theory, could be cool, having different variations of biomes. Like, for example, we have different types of mountain biomes. We have the jagged peaks, snowy peaks, etc. But this is literally the same thing with different colours. I see where they were coming from, where it's like a, a type of dark oak biome. But then they've called it pale oak, not pale dark oak. But then again, that could have been an oxymoron saying it was pale dark. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. So my suggestion would be... Instead of having it as a variation of a dark oak tree, I'm going to propose something entirely new. I'm actually going to let go of the idea that it needs to be its own tree model and it needs to look different to every other tree. I think what would be cool is if the Pale Garden biome corrupted existing biomes with trees in. So you could have a jungle biome, but it would have pale oak wood as the logs instead of jungle. And all the leaves would be the the pale leaves instead of the jungle ones. But it would still look like a jungle, but it'd all be corrupted. Now, you, this could be with other biomes as well, like you could just have a, a normal birch forest or something, but it would have all the pale oak logs and wood. And then you can have all the moss and stuff on the ground as well, change the grass colour, and I think this would just be a much cooler idea and something we haven't seen before. And that would also give you reason to go to a specific biome to get the wood. Because I can see what's happening... At the minute, most people are going to, including me, most people are going to go to the biome, get four saplings from the tree, bring it back to where their base is, and just grow them infinitely there like we do every other tree in the game. Once you've been there once, there will be no reason to go back there. So if Mojo made it so different biomes were corrupted, maybe then it would give people an incentive to go to a jungle or a mega tiger to get their pale wood, because the trees will be bigger there and you can grow them in two by twos, like the big spruce and the big jungle trees then it'd be more efficient to get wood like that, rather than growing them where you are and then being smaller. And that leads me on to my next point. After you've been there once, there will be no reason to go to the Pale Garden again. Yes, it has the creaking in the biome, but what does it do other than something new to try out in the game? It doesn't drop anything, it has no use in any farms or anything, it can't be tamed, it can't be a pet, it can't bring it, well you probably can bring it with you if you take the creaking heart, but it still has no use, except for being there. You can kill it, okay, that's the experience down, but are you seriously going to be doing that in a long term Minecraft world? I don't think so. So they need to give the creaking a use to return to it, because what most players are going to do, they're going to check out the creaking once in their world, maybe twice, and then they'll forget about it. It'll be a cool feature, we've seen nothing like it, don't get me wrong, but it has no long-term use. Even if it literally did just drop a pale oak log, that is technically a way to make a pale oak wood farm. I'm sure someone smarter than me could figure that out and work out how to make it fully automated, but it would have a use at least. And my final issue is with the creaking mob itself. When I jumped into the snapshot and just played around with stuff, I it was, I, I got the atmosphere. It was creepy. Even during the day, as they said, it's just silent. And then you just might hear a, a creak off in the distance. And it is terrifying. And then it comes to nighttime, and you hear the creaking spawn in. And then you see the glowing orange eyes just through the trees. You can't really see the actual creaking itself because it blends in so well. They've done a great job on that. And I love how the creaking looks as well. But for a mob that's meant to be scary, 
and potentially a challenge, it wasn't that hard to defeat. You just find it, you make sure you stare at it, you hit it, you follow the particles to the tree, break the heart, and that's it. Now, I, I like the idea a lot of you can't directly just kill it. You actually have to destroy its like source block in a tree. That is a really cool idea, and I like that. The problem I have with it is the damage. The Great King does one heart of damage, and I think that's in like no armor, or maybe iron, I can't exactly remember. But imagine if you have like diamond or even just netherite. It's it's not going to do anything. So that just adds to the there's no point of the mob. And I'm not saying make it as overpowered as the warden, because obviously the warden is a is meant to be a very, very challenging mob. And it is. They've done a good job with that. And I don't think the creaking should be that level. But make it do more than one heart. Maybe at least like three. So you then actually have to worry about looking at it. Because at the minute, you can just look away for a couple of seconds and it won't even do that much damage. And I think it would be more fun if you actually had to stare at it constantly or it would do some serious damage to you. And my second issue with the creaking is it's quite slow. When I was playing around with it, I could look away and as long as you're sprinting and jumping, you can easily outrun it. I feel like it should be more terrifying when it's chasing you. It should easily be able to catch up to you and the only way to stop it from reaching you was looking at it, not by just running for your life. I feel like that would add another element to it rather than just running away. You actually have to be tactical about it and look at it to escape it or destroy the heart to kill it. So I think that pretty much wraps up what I have to say about the Pale Garden Biome. No, it doesn't actually. It doesn't. I have one last point. I have a problem with the name of the biome. Pale Garden. I get the pale bit, but where's the garden coming from? It's not a garden. There's nothing garden about it. There's no nice pretty flowers. There's there's nothing gardeny about it. So I call it a garden. I call it a pale forest. Problem solved. But now I think I am officially done with my rant. I hope they do listen to the community and change some of these features and adapt them to make them worthwhile. Or I've got a feeling it's going to be a flop and I really don't want it to be. I'll be really interested to hear what you guys think as well. So if you do have any ideas or you agree or disagree with any of my points I've said, and I will read them and respond. Also, let me know if you've got any ideas that they could add as well or just change in the update that could potentially save it. If you've enjoyed this video, please do like. It does help me out a lot as I am a small channel. And also subscribe because it, it doesn't cost you a penny and it helps me out a ton. So that's all I've got to say and I will see you in the next one.